This video is going to show you how to start harvesting emails from LinkedIn. Um, and we're going to start with a filter that already exists. So the first thing you do on LinkedIn, click on work and on work, click on sales navigator. Now on the sales navigator, you're going to click on lead builder. When lead builder opens, you'll see this start your advanced search screen. We don't need that. We're going to click on the X and close that. Now, before we go any farther, we want to make sure that um, Hunter.io is loaded in Chrome. And that little icon right there is the Hunter.io icon. So everything's hunky-dory at this point. Now, um, what you're going to do is click on Save Search. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's the way it works. You're going to click on Save Search. And it's going to open this screen and you will find on this screen a list of email address lists. Okay, so a list of lists. And you're going to pick the appropriate email filter to start working from. So this is not a filter you guys will normally be using, but it illustrates the, the principle. You're going to click on the filter and it's going to go out and it's going to create a filter of names. Now, on each page, there should be about 25 names, all right? Just like this. If you scroll down, you'll see all these names. I've harvested a lot of these names, so I'm going to go to a page where I probably haven't harvested any of them. And it's going to load that up. And the best way to tell whether or not you've harvested here is if it says viewed, and I'm scrolling down. It looks like I've already viewed a few of these, so let's go a little farther. I'll just go to page 12. And on page 12, let's see, there we go. So this is the sequence that you're going to work in. Okay, we're on, uh, we're ready to start harvesting emails. So you're going to open the file that's probably on your desktop called dot vote connect phrases. And it's got two different phrases in there. One phrase is for using uh, before you've made the connection, what we're going to be doing right now. And then after the other party accepts the connection, we're going to send them the second phrase. So the first thing you want to do after you open the .NET Connect Phrases file is copy just the phrase. Don't copy the thing that says before connection. Just copy the phrase. I'm going to press Control C to copy that. Then I'm going to come back over here onto LinkedIn and I'm going to go to the first name. I'm going to click on the three little dots there a menu will drop down and I'm going to click on connect. It's going to open this screen right here that says Michael and I'm going to delete everything in that in, uh, invitation box. Just press delete. Highlight it I mean and then press delete. Then I'm going to type his first name and then I'm just going to paste in what I copied with uh, control V. So that pastes the entire message in and I click on send invitation. Now LinkedIn confirms that the invitation has been sent. The next step is to click on the um, hunter.io box. That's that little orange fox, I guess is what it is. And you want to make sure that you're, you're set up to, to uh, send this first email to the correct list. And that's literally all there is to it. You're going to go through all 25 um, names on this page. I'm going to show you something that will happen if you've already sent a connection request to an account, but they haven't accepted it yet. So I'm just going to do this guy I just did. I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to repeat what I just did. Delete everything there. Hit his, uh, type in his first name and then control V to paste everything in and then send invitation. Now what it's going to tell me, I've got this red warning box here. So I'm going to click on cancel. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to discard? I'm going to say, yeah, I do want to discard. The reason is because we've already invited this person. So if it doesn't send it, and you see that little red box back behind there, that's why. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through all 25 uh, people on here, and then I'm going to show you the next step. All right, I've, fi I've uh, I filled out the whole screen. So now what I'm going to do is click on this orange button on the hunter box that says find email addresses and save leads. 
Um, and by the way, there's a box there that says save. Even if the email address is not found, do not check that. That's not a good idea. So go ahead and click on find email addresses and it's going to go through and try to find as many email addresses for each of those LinkedIn um, uh, connections that you requested. Um, and this found, didn't find a lot and found a few. At that point, you've done that whole page and now it's time to go to the next page. So whatever page you're on, just click to the next one and repeat the process.